Crypto caught our attention, each one of us to some degree, because we saw something with massive gains potential. We saw stories of people who made incredible gains. We looked into the technology ourselves and we saw something that would change the world. And we began to dream again. Now, many people are going to be absolutely wealthy within just the next 10 years because of crypto. Some of those are right here in the audience. Some maybe came into crypto four years ago. Some haven't even paid attention to crypto at all, but will in the coming years and will stake their time, their attention, and their savings to make it absolutely huge. Now, will that be you? I don't know. Why will some do exceptional and others will not in that same next 10 years? So today we'll talk about the three fatal flaws that will sink the ships of many people's fortunes, their hopes and their dreams, and those that avoid these will have massive results. Welcome to the Crypto Rain channel. I'm your host, Jay Rain. If you like money in crypto and you're looking for a lifelong investor's take on the crypto market, join the Rainmaker family by liking the video and subscribing with that all notifications bell enabled. Reality check, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm a human just like you. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a crypto investor myself. I have more time doing this than most. I still have some failures I learned from, and I've had many, many successes, making my first millions in crypto in 2020. And in this podcast, I share with you how I think about the crypto market and often share specific cryptos I like and why I like them. Do note that I own or plan to own much of what I talk about on this channel, though today we won't be going into specific cryptos. Special shout out to our Patreon members. We do have private Discord that our Patreon members get access to. Now make it rain on that like button. Strap in for the show. Put that seatbelt on. Let's get the obvious out of the way. You came here because crypto could change your finances forever. I know I did. Yet what the tech can do is amazing. But why would I spend so much time on Twitter and YouTube learning? That's because I wanted it to change my finances forever. You came here to become a millionaire or even a multimillionaire, didn't you? So let's get started on that first million and what to avoid so you can get there. Number three, it is said in the short term, we overestimate what we can do. In the long term, we vastly underestimate what we can do. Let me share a story with you. I discovered crypto after a friend shared with me that he had just had 15K or 15,000 go 17x in three months. I was like, wait, what? You made 17% in three months? He said, no, I made 17x. How is that possible? Well, he told me. Now, keep in mind, he this conversation was through a text. He told me in the text that through cryptos, which he spelled wrong, he spelled it with a K, which sure made Googling it very hard. I got all kinds of kryptonite links and other things, but figured out after a few too many pages that he had really been talking about cryptocurrency. Wow, 17x in three months as an investor, those kind of returns are just unheard of. And that had my full attention. This was in 2017, and that delved me into a life-altering quest. Now, that quest wasn't to find a holy grail. The quest wasn't to throw a gold ring with lettering on it into a volcano. That quest was simply, how do I make 17x returns? In fact, how do I make some 100x returns? After I really started to discover what was possible, that was my quest. Which brings me back to my point at the beginning of this principle. We overestimate what we can do in the short term and underestimate what we can do in the long term. The number three thing that is like a cannonball shot straight down through the center hole of our ship that will sink it every time is lack of patience. Now, in this story, the story is about me. I invested about 15000 and I did watch it go a little over 10x, which was exciting. I started in uh, October 2017. 
And by the end of December 2017 or early January, yeah, I had some really, really nice results. I mean, 10x, that's well on a way to 100x, right? Except it came crashing down after that. Actually, to less than I put in. Why? Well, I was new. I, I didn't understand the cycles, even though I had investment experience prior to this. I was new to crypto and how fast these cycles are. I didn't know how to take profits when I was ahead. I, I, I just didn't understand what was going on with cryptocurrency. I was so new. And you're always bad at something before you're good, right? So a lot of times, lack of patience. Now, since then, I've had several things go 100x. Why? Well, I started to learn about the cycles. I started to learn how to identify good projects and be patient and hold for the right timeline. A lot of people, when it doesn't go like they want, they don't have the patience to stick with it, learn from their mistakes and keep going. So patience, like I said, is a cannonball straight through that ship that's supposed to take you to the promised land. So number two, thing that absolutely will crash your financial future in crypto. It's an artillery round pointed right at your financial futures boat. And it wants to capsize your boat and it wants to sink it right to the bottom of the ocean. But this one sinks it more slowly. Have you ever seen a movie, perhaps even a great movie, but so many had told you how great the movie was before you saw it, that you came away with a bitter aftertaste in your mouth. What was it that killed, and I do mean killed, that movie for you forever? Unrealistic expectations. Everybody told you how great it was going to be that you saw it, and you're like, yes! I'm so excited to see this. And you got there, and it was just a good movie. But your expectations were so high, and it underperformed those expectations. And uh, it killed that movie forever for you. There's no coming back from that. Now, the first few failures you have in crypto, and there will be failures, right? Uh, and often that'll sink you right out of this game if you let it. Now, game, why do I call this a game? I call this a game because 98% 90, of success in cryptocurrency is mental, you can't build the project yourself. Other people are building them. You're looking to identify and you're looking to make good choices. It's all mental, just like a game is, right? Now, why would a few failures sink someone right out of this game? Well, that is the question. Why would you let just a few failures completely capsize your dreams? Yet as human beings, human beings, we do this all the time. Because of unrealistic expectations, we come in thinking we are going to be great, that we're going to screen for just the right projects, and we're going to get 100% behind some of those projects. We're going to throw all of our emotional energy into backing that project. We're going to crush anyone trying to flood on it. And lo and behold, it underperforms our expectations, even just by a little it leads to depression within ourselves and we slowly fade away like a ship that has a few bullet holes in it that keeps taking on water until it sinks. Now, what sunk that ship? Expectations. But that is stupid, you're thinking in your mind. Yes, yes it is. And yet it happens every single day. Now, how many of you started on this journey in the early months of creating this YouTube channel more than a year ago? Some of you, right? Some of you are actually many of you are still here. I'm impressed. But have you seen some people already letting their ship sink to the bottom of the ocean because of this? Oh, yes. And it will keep happening. But the reason why I'm sharing this with you and it's so critical I share this with you is because once you become aware of it, when we become aware of it, we can have a pattern interrupt and it helps us not do this ourselves. All right, the number one thing that will crush everyone's dreams in crypto is FOMO, fear of missing out. FOMO is the number one sinker of financial futures over anything else because it causes us to vastly overpay for things. So even if 
we stick around in crypto for a long time, if we're constantly falling, going into things, is going to savage our gains. We're going to have probably a lot of losses and not gains, even though we happen to be in exactly the right place at the right time. We just chased into things. I call it chasing boats we already missed. We're going to fumble into things, pay too much, and it's going to crush us. Now, we have this natural instinct in us to chase what seems like it's getting away. It's an instinctual behavior, and it's part of our primal brain. We can't change this. This is in us. Now, this part of our primal brain is really important because it's great at helping us spot a rabbit trying to get away if we're a hunter. But it is terrible and insanely disastrous in our investing strategies. Crypto goes in cycles, bull markets and bear markets, and even individual pumps within that market. We don't want to FOMO into things. Let me share a story. This is a recent story. Possibly the pain still on some people's mind, though I know much of my audience didn't have much of this. Recently, there was a project called Terra Luna. Yep, you can already feel that pain coming in, right? And whether you experienced it or really the pain was from someone else's experience, this is a visceral, I guess, reflection of what often happens in this. Now, they don't often crash as low as Terra Luna did, but this cycle happens. And I wanted to use this because it's so visceral and so recent. For those of you who don't know it, recently there was a project called Terra Luna. It was hitting all-time highs at $100 per token after just previously, now this is just like last December, hitting $100 per token. It was, still was really high at like $70 a token, even two or three months later, before crashing to almost zero. But it was $6 previously in July. Now, in December through February, it was being covered on almost every YouTube channel about crypto. It was trending on Twitter. It seemed like it was so great. Everyone was talking about it. Wow, just get some Terra Luna because it just keeps going up until it doesn't. Now, seems like things are getting away and we're like, oh my gosh, I've missed out on these gains. I don't want to miss out on more. I've got to buy it. Don't do it. I know it was being covered on almost every YouTube channel about crypto. Realize when you see that, that is a sell signal, not a buy signal. I warn the audience against it. What goes up does go down. Now, when something goes as a general principle from a top 100 coin to being on the top 10 list, it almost never stays there very long. Yet many, many people FOMO into it after it crosses that top 10 list so that even if they get the other things right that we talked about, they're just buying at the wrong price, right? To make a fortune in crypto, we have to buy low in order to sell high. And if you buy high, you're going to be stuck in a situation that you're going to be holding a very, very long time. And it may go down and never even recover to the price that you bought it at. Now, I had some Terra Luna. I bought some back in July for like $6 when it was near the bottom. When it was hitting $100, I could feel the FOMO telling me to buy some more. You see, I don't shut that part off of me. It's still there. I even listen to it. I think of it like this. I notice these things, like I listen to the FOMO. I notice it. And then I do the opposite of what it's telling me. So in this case, I started selling some off and taking some profits on it. And if it weren't for the long staking lockups, I would have taken much more in profits on it. Now, I didn't even have to know that it would crash to almost zero to know that when something goes up that much, it is a terrible time to buy and a fantastic time to sell. Unfortunately, many people are new in crypto and they do not understand the danger of FOMO and they come in with hopes and dreams like each of us. They do this a few times where they overpay for it because they FOMO in, they chase this boat that's already left the port, they swim out after it only to get in, only see it come right back to port. They get crushed by it emotionally because they lose some really big sums sometimes on it. And then what happens? We usually decide crypto is a scam and we're out. Now let's be real here. We're all just people. None of us have a magic wand. A sophisticated seasoned investor still gets it wrong often, but still 
makes a fortune. If you're still here at this part in the video, I have a gem for you. And this is the formula that I use. I research for projects that are out of the hype cycle. They aren't being covered in the biggest crypto channels presently. They have a solid team. There, re there is a reason why the token has value. And there are reasons that they're not going parabolic in the price at present, but that reason will be resolved or those reasons will be resolved. And as they do get resolved, then the price is likely to do exceptional. Now, it could look like this as you delve into this and you make investments for you over the coming years. Say you invest across 10 different projects and you hold them for the next three years, just three years, perhaps even five of those 10. So you put in 10 and five of them completely fail. But let's imagine two of them do just over 100x and that three of the 10 do about 30x in the coming three years. Though half of what you invested in totally failed, your total portfolio gains were close to 30x overall. That is what investing is about. Now, a lot of people, when they have those first couple few fail, they'll sell their would-be winners and they'll cash out of crypto and get out completely. Well, I wanted to cover these things because I feel like they're essential to sticking around long term, learning some lessons, learning how to think about it right, because we're all new when we come into crypto. So not only do we need to understand crypto, we also need to learn to think like an investor. And as we learn to think like an investor, we'll do much, much better. Realize the market's down. It's way down. And the smart decisions made during this time when prices are at crazy lows are going to lead to life changing results. Remember, no rain, no gain. This rap is for all of you. Most of you know what this is all about. This rap, I wrote the words. These words are to help us understand the principles of successful investing. Peace out. See you next time. Came into the space chasing all of the gains, chasing yeah. the pumps and all of the hype trains. But like in life, uh, Shit, right before you could, was close to buy when it was pouring like a rain, making sure it's true. I buy when it's down, don't chase the post that I miss, uh, cause I always made the time in mind. I take the one out, cause I'm patient like that, hands off, wait for the right time. I sell when it's high, I buy when it's low, they call me rich, they call me smart. I'm just a rainmaker, running the show, calculated investments, I don't leave with my heart. Uh, principles are simple, they're leaving a lot, why when it's boring, just gotta be smart. So when it's hype, like all the channels they pump it That's when I was selling your parabolic and dump it They call me rich, they call me smart I'm a rainmaker, making my own start I'm with the future, learning the past Makes the time fly by, years going so fast The game plan is mine, I'll own it now When I reach the top, haters asking me how Cause I'm a rainmaker, investments I love And I follow what I learn, not relying on luck uh, Time is never better, the time like the present The next five years is a gift and it's feeling like heaven I'm committed to learn Studying to know that nothing comes easy, but when knowledge is gained, show seeking out this wrong consumer will come a bear market. Learning and growing, and when it's slow, would be the target. They say it's come out, Bitcoin is dead. The massive decreases can get to your head. Sticking around, the time is better. Strong like that, I'll let the others be fretters. Two years of time, the ball will bring back the games. That makes it worth it, because here comes the rain. So let's go, rainmakers, let's make it all happen. They go with the hate, they the haters be crapping. I'm here for five years, let's do this together. The time is right, the time could be better They call me rich, they call me smart I'm a rainmaker, making my own start I'm with the future, learning the past Makes the time fly by, years going so fast This game plan is mine, I'll own it now When I reach the top, hey, it's asking me how Cause I'm a rainmaker, investments I love And I follow what I learn, not relying on luck uh, Haters be hating, the time to slow down Addressing what to say when I'm wearing my crown They're chasing green candles like someone who was new I got a vision that was bigger Helping me to push through I'm still human and sometimes it is rough And that's what makes me special Simply I stay tough Cause I'm a rainmaker Investments I love And I follow what I learn Not relying on luck uh.